Right guys, welcome back to the channel. It's that day that I've been waiting for, that you've been waiting for. My box from the spider shop has arrived. Right guys, so let's get into opening this box, shall we? Give me back a little bit. Right guys, so I'm going to try and open this without any scissors or anything. Um, now I know something that I ordered was out of stock. Um, Lee was kind enough to phone me yesterday to let me know that it wasn't there and refunded my money. So, uh, big thank you to Spider Shop, whose communication as always was spot on. As always with Spider Shop, lots and lots of packing peanuts. Whoa, that's awesome. Alright, so the first thing we have isn't tarantula related, but is that uh, I'm not even going to try and pronounce it. Not picking it up for some reason. Uh, but we see giant Asian mantis. If you can see it in there, I have to be getting me a decent tub for that one now. Um. Secondly. People may have suspected that I was going to pick one of these. Is a Brachypalma hammeri. It's so eight to nine centimeters on the lid. So hopefully I can open this up without it bolting or anything. I need to see how big it is because people might be wondering why I've not reused Canelo's enclosure. See, I don't know if you can see her. But there she is. Oh, trying to get ready to come out. You don't want you to come out just yet, little one. So we'll put that back over. So I spoke to Lee, obviously explained my situation with the fact that I lost my last one and the fact that I was after a female. Now he's only got juveniles on the website. He said he would get me one of the smaller ones because the females take longer to grow. So hopefully. That's a female, but we won't know until a later date. Hmm. There's one that I didn't order in here. I can see. And um, the next thing I got was a bean weevil culture, purely because I have some slings now that I've struggled to get food for during the lockdown period. So I needed to order that, and that's the main reason I made this order. Um, I've also got a Brachypalma albiceps. Or I, anyone who knows me knows that I like the Brachypalma gene. Oh. I will show you it, but it's literally about to come out if I show you it. So what we'll do is we'll leave that, we'll rehouse that one in a second, or it'll be a, sec a separate video for that one. I have a Postlotheria ruffalata, or the red slate ornamental. Again, I've wanted one of these for a long time. They are, in my opinion, the best uh, Postlotheria. I've got the metallic already, which I love. But these guys, mainly because of the black around the eyes, they look like a cartoon villain. These are amazing. I'll put a picture up right now, up here. But these are fantastic. Let's see if we can open this one up and... So far they've all been moving around the second I've opened them up, so. Well, oh, that one's a little bit bigger than I thought. Nice. Can't really, the problem is, is because of how small they are and my stupid camera that doesn't want to focus. I'll show you them in a minute. I'll get them just into their enclosure so then I can rehouse them for the next video. And this one, which is one I didn't ask for. 
Um, I was told because I ordered a Piamina because anyone who knows what happened to mine, it was eaten by Gav's female. Um, but Lee said he didn't have any. He's obviously put this in to, as an exchange for it, but he's also refunded me the money. So I said, nice to spot the shop. Um, is a P Gigas, which I'm not 100% sure what that is. If it's the orange tree spider or... Again, that's a lovely little stunner. I'm pretty sure it's the orange tree spider or something like that, but I will confirm that. I'm not sure I'm going to have to look into that. But that should be everything. Yeah, oh, now I've got these everywhere. It'll only be a matter of time before they're, before they're all over my floor anyway. But again, the guys at the spider shop have outdone themselves. This is amazing. There's, well, last time I bought one of these, Bean Weevil Cultures was from a local shop. And I literally saw two in the whole of the thing. You can see them all moving around. There's loads of them. Perfect for my slings, so we'll be doing some feeding as well. But let's get into rehousing some of these bad boys. Don't know if I'll try and see if you can see the P Gigas. Don't know if you can see it in there. That's the P Gigas little sling, but that's amazing. I don't have one of those in my collection. I'll see if I can show you the Alpiceps and stuff, but. It was on its way of trying to come out. That's gone back down the other way now. I don't know if you can see in there. Only tiny, but another Brachypalma down. That's, I don't know where they've changed the Genesis and they so. And the last one, which is slightly bigger than the other two, if you can see in there. Is the Pulsar Theria Rufalera with the red slate ornamental. Right, guys, that's pretty much going to be it for this video. It's just a simple unboxing. It was no mystery box or anything like that. I knew exactly what I ordered except for the P Gigas. But again, I'm going to put a link down below in the description for the Spider Shop. These guys have been fantastic every time I've dealt with them and when I've been to shows, even to the point that my blondie that I have up there was handpicked by one of the guys on the spider shop table. Again, I, was, I said I would prefer a female, so we went through every single one they had there and said that's most likely to be the female. So again, spider shop guys, you're amazing. Everyone else watching this video, thank you for your support. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.